Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Jess and today I thought I would do just a little bit of like a, like a refresh clean with you. Um, I, d I don't really need to do much tidying. I mean, I know the living room behind me says otherwise. It is just a ring light and a chair, I promise. Um, but I... I'm just kind of th feeling like I want to do like a little bit of like a, a dust, a hoover, um, get my washing on, just you know, spend some time. Just especially as well because my car is in dire need of a clean and I do it every month and somehow every month I get the most dirt on the most crumbs. I don't even eat in the car that often, I don't really know where it comes from but either way, um, yeah, it needs doing. So I thought we'd clean the car together, I thought um you know get the washing on just spend a little time have a little chit chat you know um so it's currently oh by the way do you like my hair i've literally had this done today um and i just love having a little refresh had a little bit of a fringe put in like nothing too like you know what i mean but but yeah i'm uh living for the living for the little fringy fringe you know um, and also have my blonde done because my god them roots were just something else they had their own plants on them um but yeah so we're gonna have we're gonna crack on i need to get the washing in and yeah let's crack on so i'm just starting out by doing the washing i always like to start with this one first so that just so that it can run its cycle as i'm doing other jobs this is the tablet i put in i think this is a surf one i usually buy from aldi though um but yeah just gonna set that going So as you can see I'm in the car now, I have some mess and things that I need to sort out, the boot needs clearing out etc and let me just show you, look at this, look at them crumbs, Blech. blooming awful, um, so <laughs> as you can tell this is in dire need, I mean even the dashboard is like in need of a dust and a clean, so we're gonna crack on to the car now because there's nothing better than having a nice fresh clean car for when you're going on doing whatever you're doing and so with that being said that does bring me on to to share with you the sponsorship for this part of the video which is vac life and this is what i'm going to be using to clean uh, to clean my car they have over a hundred thousand reviews on their vac life store and on amazon as well and also but they're a five star amazon seller as well they're dead easy to buy like i say you can just get one off amazon they're an innovative brand that is focused on essential daily power tools so like i say i'm going to be using this one in this section of the video to clean the car just to show you what comes because i've actually brought the box as well um so obviously it comes with this it also comes with a charger which is actually in the house but i have been charging this um you get a spare little filter with it and then you get two nozzles so these will come in handy especially in the car so this one I'll put it on the right way goes in like that and you've got your nozzle which to get in all the hard to reach areas and then you've got the brush as well which literally is so easy and you're good to go you've got your button there which it's got some power behind it and something else which I find really really cool is if this button here let me show you pa pow can't see where you're hoovering no more look at the light on that if you're in low light areas or you just need a little extra help seeing where the uh, where the thing is. I can't stop pressing this. Um, <laughs> then you've got your little light there. Very convenient. It's also really fast at charging, and the battery lasts for a really really long time. So I actually keep this in the boot of my car. Dead easy to just grab out the boot and Hoover when I need to. All of the information on where you can get one of these from is in the description, and also I'll pop a discount code on screen now so you can get a little discount off it. So let's crack on to cleaning the car. So just to start with, I'm clearing out this area in the middle. I always end up putting really random rubbish in there. Um, so there's a lot to throw out in there. Also random coins and things that I've just thrown in, like bits of change. Um, and then I've randomly got some rings, uh, some of my keys, just random stuff. Um, so I'm clearing that out before I'm hoovering. And then just grabbing the Vaclife vacuum. I'm just using that to do my gear stick with. I actually really like the design of this vacuum. It's not too bulky, so you can literally store it away dead easy. Um, obviously it's cordless, so you can just use it on the go. Just attaching the circle no nozzle now and using it to get into these little ducats here in the car, which are a little bit harder to reach, but 
you know, still getting them. I've just swapped it to the brush tool for the floor mat because it actually really helped in getting like the little bits out in between those grooves. Um, honestly, I really need a new mat actually for the driver's side because it is just falling to bits. And then here I'm just separating out the things that I took out of those little front dockets, just leaving in the things that I think I'll need and then removing the rubbish. So now I'm just hoovering the back seat. To be honest, I very rarely have passengers in the back seat. Um, it's more just where I kind of throw my bags or just keep things that I don't want on the front seat. And then moving on to the dash, I'm just using some wipes. These I think are the Fabulosa ones. I did used to use proper dash wipes, but to be honest, I don't find them any different. Right, so the car is now nice and clean. It's nice and it's like dusted, cleaned, hoovered, and it's just a lot. It's just looking a lot better. So I've just drove it around because I just drove it around to like a little car park, um, just so that I could like clean it because I usually park on the road outside my house. Um, so I've just moved it back. Um, I'm just gonna grab all the stuff that I've collected from the car, like my water bottles and things, and just take them back into the house, and we'll crack on with the rest of it. Next, moving on to the living room. So as you can see, some of the cushions, especially in the corner, need a bit of a plump up and rotation around. Can you tell where I sit? <laughs> um, yeah, so I take off all the cushions and then just remove the cushions that I sit on. There will probably be some crumbs down there because I don't have any um, dining space. I usually eat my meals on the sofa. So yeah, as you can see, there's quite a lot of crumbs there. There is also quite a lot of like clicks on the material. So if you think that some of it's not getting hoovered away it is clicks in the material from where Billy has decided to dig down um, and click the material which is nice and then I'm just hoovering the top of the sofa cushions just because you know Billy sits here I think he mostly sits on this area of the sofa and tends to get some cat hair on them so just replacing the cushions and then my Febreze unstoppable spray absolute fab favorite for fabric here hello mirror um, I've got my flash dust magnet which I very recently just bought from Tesco's it extends and it's just a great way to get the mirrors and things or things that are slightly out of reach um, I'm not doing a full like clean just like dusting it over the top and it also changes angles like that so you can get things like the top of the curtain pole it's great for doing like just a little bit of light dusting I wouldn't say it's for anything like heavy duty but you know for something like what I'm doing today it's fine so using the Febreze 3 Volution um, plugins I just like to refresh these so the one I had in was definitely overdue a change now I'm just changing Billy's litter tray so I do have this little cupboard um, which got built in by my dad um, and basically I keep just all his stuff in there so just changing the litter um, I actually find that having the cupboard door with the cat flap on it tends to eliminate most of the smell so I absolutely love it if you've got a cat I would definitely recommend building something similar um, but I'm just going to give the box a wash out and then I also actually do have the spray that I got from pets at home it's a stain, stain and odor remover god couldn't get my words um I'll just spray it with that leave it on for a little bit and then rinse it out And then once it's clean, I'm just drying it off with some kitchen roll and then refilling it. This, I think, is called Feelight. I got it from B&M. It's the one that Billy likes the best. I usually have to fill it quite deep because he loves to have a little dig when he's using his litter tray. So, yeah, let's pop the lid back on and then get it back in for him. So, that does bring me to the end of this video. It's been like a... not a... 
not a full light clean or anything, just a little bit of a freshen up, just here and there, just little bits that have been bugging me for the last couple of days where I think, you need cleaning, you need cleaning, <laughs> and you need cleaning. Um, so yeah, we've done them, and yeah, I can just sit and relax. And my living room, let me tell you, smells delicious, by the way. And um, the combination of the Unstoppable Spray and the new plug-in things is just, <sighs> you know? So yes, yeah, so like I said, this does bring me to the end of this video. Once again, thank you so much to Vaclife who have sponsored a section in this video. Don't forget to go and check out their details in the description. If you have enjoyed it, then please give it a thumbs up. Go hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to be notified for when I do upload next, then hit the bell as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.